What is up my beautiful people? Today I'm going to be doing a, a ready smoky type of eye. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it yet, but it's really pretty. It's not super dramatic. What am I doing with my hands? Um, it's not super dramatic, but it's still dramatic. Like, I would wear it on an everyday, not every day, but most people wouldn't. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy. For today's look, I'll be using mainly all the Crown Cosmetics palette. I'll be starting off with this warmish brown transition shade and putting that into my crease with the, I think it's Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, the one that comes with most palettes. Now for a little more definition, I'll be taking this deeper brown shade and putting that slightly underneath the color that I just laid down. To refine the crease even more, I'll be using this darkish red color and putting that on the outer V of my eye with the same brush as the last two times. So to highlight my brow bone a little bit, I'll be using this nude light shade and just put it underneath both eyebrows and blend it into my crease color so everything's seamless. I'll be taking that dark brown color again and just concentrating it more to my outer corner with the smaller end of the brush. I will now be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Androgyny Palette and mixing together fetish and androgyny and putting that on in my crease and kind of over my lid. It doesn't really look like I'm adding any color, but I am. I just need to add all the same colors. So with the same highlight shade, I'm just fixing up the brow bone highlight because you know you might have lost it and you want your eyebrows like eyebrow bone like really white. And I'm just blending that in. And my eyes water. You know, the usual. Why did I say the use? The usual. And now I'm just taking more of I believe it's androgyny and just concentrating more on the outer corner. So I'm taking the same mixture of androgyny and fetish and putting it under my lower lash line and I think I used some of the dark brown shade I used from the Crown Cosmetics palette. So for the lid sparkle, I guess you would say, I'm using this red coppery color. It has like gold flecks. I just put it on my finger and sprayed setting spray on it and I'm just using my finger to pack it onto my eyelid. This is one of my favorite colors and I never wear it that often because I don't know. I just like a bright under corner but I thought I'd do a little more dramatic this time. So I'm just taking the MAC eyeliner pencil. I'm not sure what it in or anything but I'm just gonna I'm attempting to tight line my eyes. Honestly I don't think it did much but I'm just going to attempt for camera and now I'm taking false eyelashes and be putting those on there are Dell lashes I think like 117 or something like that again not 100% sure on the number and it's just going to take me like 100 years to get them actually on my eyelid
Now I'm just taking the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fiber Mascara and just blending my eyelashes together and putting them on the lower lash line. And I love what this this makeup looks like with eyelashes on. For lips, I'll be taking the Bite Cosmetics Amuse Bouche Lipstick, and I'm not 100% sure which shade, but it's like a night, like a neutrally, my lips better kind of color. Did you like it? Don't uh, Yeah. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up and comment down below what kind of makeup look you want me to do next. And yeah, be sure to check out my last makeup tutorial, which I used a sub 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 subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's sitting back there. Somewhere. It's behind the camera on my laptop because I forgot to film an intro for this so yeah I love you guys give a big thumbs up and comment down below bye guys